You know, last generation did give us the heavy duty boots and redefine the meta as we know it. Yet generation 9 will head off and will have items that are maybe not as significant but still new are gonna be redefining Pokemon and a meta that's gonna follow us behind it. And I really like that part. I love that we're going to have something like that again. And this generation will not have as many items. It's actually are quite poor. Only seven new offensive items. And I want to you know, talk about them and redefine what they'll do and basically take it from there. The first item is actually Ability Shield. This item will make sure that your ability camp is changed with trance or skill swap and whatnot. Basically, this will allow you to not be uh, victimized to your own benefit. Basically, we have Moss again capitalized on trance, for example, to steal your Swiss Swim and whatnot. With Ability Shield, that will no longer be a possibility. I like this for singles. You know, maybe let's say you have huge power and you don't want to get reverse switch with something with huge power, and this could be a chance of avoiding that, so I think that's a neat idea. Another new item, which I think is a good one, is Clear Amulet. Basically, White Herb has for a long time been the item to use to make sure you don't get yourself lowered in your stats, and it's a neat idea and definitely works with Shell Smash and maybe only with Shell Smash. Clear Amulet, however, will make sure that no matter what move that are made or ability that are used to can lower your stats will be negated as long as you carry this item. And I like I said, I think it's a neat idea, more so if you're a physical attacker and you know that you can be victimized by Intimidates. Definitely a great item for VGCs, but just in singles, I think it's going to work alright. I like the concept, I think it's, you know, quite surprising it hasn't been done till now. So the next item, the Mirror Herb, is you know known as before. It is an item that basically works like Psycho. If your opponent goes a Sword Stance, you will go for a Sword Stance. And it will only work once, but... It is still a neat idea, and it's definitely something you can see your opponent going for a set of moves. You can take the opportunity of just steal that chance and be just in a good position. And that, like I said, I like that concept, if anything. So now we come to what I think probably is the most neat item <laughs> to this generation. That is the punching glove. This item will first and foremost make sure that your contact moves will not hit, prevent you from getting contact against the target. And also, now all of a sudden you have an item that works like Arafist. Every punchy move will have a 20% boost to your artillery, which means that, you know, Arafist is now an item. It also doesn't necessarily detail that if you have Arafist, you can still get another boost with this item. I like this idea. I think a lot of Pokemon can benefit from using, you know, the elemental punches to the filler moves, and now you can actually get a boost from it without using something like, like say, Iron Fist. It also makes sure the Bullet Punch, Mag Punch get extra boosts. There are a few Pokemon that capitalize on that too. I don't know. I like it. I never thought that could be a thing, but now I see it. I I love it. Another ability that becomes an item is Shield Dust. Convert Cloak is an item to make sure that no matter what type of move you're hit of additional secondary effect will not be taken effect with this item in mind. Um, this could be a situational, I guess, but I, I still kind of like it. And there are a few moves that have great secondary effects that, you know, like Skull and whatnot, and just negate that altogether. Now the Skull is nerfed, feels like, yeah, that should have been introduced last year, and you're saying, but still cool. And for last item, the Loaded Dice. Basically, the third item that is now from an ability. What if we had skill and gas an item and loaded dice is almost that as it will allow you to hit more often with multi-hitting moves. So instead of two times or three times, you might actually have a higher chance of getting four or five times. Basically, if you want to use bullet seed and still use technician umbrella, this is your option if you don't want to burn yourself with life orb and just get out what if damage. I think this is a phenomenal idea, and there will definitely be more Pokemons that will benefit from using this, but of course, Brelum is the first one to come to mind. It, it kind of helps with that trailer that I showed. But that said, these are all the new items, not a lot of them. A few of them will be great for VGC, I'm thinking about Clear Amulet and she Ability Shield, but at the same time, I also like the idea of the Punching Love. I think that's going to be great if you don't want to use Life Orb. I think this could be extremely good benefit. And uh, with that said, as always, I hope you enjoyed this guy, uh, you guys. Don't forget to you know, like and subscribe. And as always, I see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.